Hello and welcome to Hank Games Without Hank. My name is John Green. I'm the manager of the Swindentown Swoodley Poopers, and today we are playing Colchester. How did they get into the Premier League? I have no idea. But anyway, we're playing them, and we should really win this game. In fact, I'm going to say it. We will win this game. Uh, as you can see, Colchester does not have uh, the level of support that the Swoodley Poopers enjoy. Their, their stadium is half empty um, and primarily full of Swoodley Pooper supporters wearing red. Um, but I'll tell you what they have that we don't. A win. Uh, we are winless so far. It, oh, look, it's uh, Jasper de Vart, the, uh, the Dutch. Oh, this is a League Cup game. That's why we're playing Colchester. It's not a Premier League game. This is the English League Cup, also known as the Carling Cup, also known as the Mickey Mouse Cup, sometimes dismissed for not being relevant. But I'll tell you who it's relevant to, the Swoodley Poopers. We've never won it. We've won the FA Cup, of course, twice, but we've never won the, uh, we've never won the Carling Cup, uh, and we'd like to change that. And to that end, we will be trying, uh, we will be trying very hard to win this game because it will be the first step on our glorious road to cup success. Plus, we're playing a League One team. We should really beat the crap out of these guys. And by the crap out of, I mean we should beat them one, one to nothing. Um, what is the foul? Is the foul, how, uh-oh, Schmergerberg. Schmergerberg, Ricardo Bunsen Burna, I need you to do that Bunsen burning thing. Oh, great save. Great reaction save from Ricardo Bunsen Burna. By the way, I failed at getting a new goalkeeper, so we're going to have to get one in January. Hopefully we'll have extra transfer funds by then. Um, but yeah, we, we just we couldn't pull it off. We didn't have the money. Um, I thought we would, but I was wrong. That's another terrible cross from Ball John Green. I don't know what I'm doing wrong with these crosses. That's good looking, though. That was great stuff. And then we cut it back. Pass. Yes. Through. Oh, schmoog. I thought we had room. All right. So um, today I'm going to introduce you to uh, to Twice as Weiss, the star. Frankly, the new star. Oh, not a good touch there. Frankly, the new star of the Swoodoo Poopers, at least on paper. Look at him. He's got. He's right. He's right there. It, he just he just overran the ball in typical Swoodoo Pooper defensive style. Uh, there he's there. Nice pass. Not not his best work actually. Twice as Weiss, um, who since I mentioned him has had nothing but a terrible game. But yeah. Um, Really interesting guy, twice as wise. Not native of of all places, Austria. I don't know if you know this, but Vienna has a proud soccer tradition, um, although it is a bit down on its luck as a um, as a soccer um, uh, destination. I guess their league is not what it used to be. Um, you know, they haven't had all the big money pumped into it that a lot of the uh, the other. Yo, we need to. It's just not working. So given that, given that 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 has a 100% fail rate, maybe we should try to invent a different strategy. Um, but anyway, twice as Weiss um, came from came from Vienna. He's still getting. He's extremely talented. He's also pretty young. Uh, he's only 23. And um, that really ball, John Green. That's the best you could do. You should have just chested it down and then kicked it because clearly your head sucks at putting balls into goals. Um, so uh, he speaks he speaks good English, um, not you know not not great. I would say above average. Uh, I made I made the awkward I had an awkward moment with him where I uh, well we've had a few awkward moments actually. Um, we haven't gotten off to a great start in terms of our manager player relationship, mostly because I thought the that uh, Vienna was in Germany, uh, which turns out is not something you want to say to to people from Vienna. So. Uh, that was that was awkward. But anyway, long story short, we're getting it together, me and Twice as Weiss. And I have, oh, come on, we gotta put we gotta put more guys in the box. We need that was a foul. Yeah, I don't blame you. But it's not a card. Oh, you're not hurt. Oh, you are hurt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guy who plays for Colchester. That that it's hard enough to play for Colchester. By the way, even though we're playing League One opposition here, we sure aren't scoring. Um, that was a nice tackle, though. But we just we just need one good opportunity. We really just uh, other John Green can't hold on to the ball. So um, twice as Weiss is adjusting quite well to England. He's used to rain, having lived in Vienna, um, and uh, this is this is a huge opportunity for him. Um, and I think it's I think going into going into uh, a season like this, 
when you you know when when you get your big opportunity in one of the big leagues like England or, or Italy or or uh, Germany or whatever I mean it's you know it's huge like he, he played last season in the Bundesliga in the in the German leagues but um, yeah you didn't score there Ricardo Bunsen Burney looks like a caveman from behind but he looks like a monster from the front oh just not playing very well let's hold the ball up pass it back a little bit they always they're always happy when I do the pass backs Yep, we had we had a guy open, but you chose not to pass it to him. They were all the way back. Now, that looks like Swoodley Pooper. Nope, and now it's halftime. Of course, once things start to go well, the referee stops the clock. Um, so Twice His Weiss does not have a family, um, and I don't know if you've gotten a good look at him yet, but he is handsome. Um, lots of lots of people have been asking me if Twice as Weiss is is single and and or ready to mingle, and the answers are yes and yes. Um, yes, he is single, and yes, he is looking. Um, I think that, uh, and I think he's I think he's straight, although I haven't asked him. Um, after the the awkward Vienna Germany moment, uh, it just seemed like maybe I should just back off of him for a while and focus on the football. Um, he is. Re oh, ball John Green can't put it in the net. He is really good. Um, uh, oh, oh, just kidding. We have a corner kick. Um, we don't have one size fits all, though, so I don't know how this is going to go. Let's see if we've got anybody who can score. Other no, we don't, of course. Um, Adam Lallana, no. Sorry, I got to start. I got to go back to calling him French. The Lallana. I've become a fan of his in real life, so it's always awkward when Swoodley Poopers, you know, they have actual careers. Oh, that should have been a better through ball. That could have been, could have been something beautiful there. Lots of people have been asking me to go over the top more often. Context is everything, um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying that a little more. But it's just it's not, it's never worked for me. Um, but I believe you guys when you tell me that it does that it does work. Come on, ball, John Green, ball, John Green. Oh, his head was almost on the ball. Almost on the ball. 62nd minute, still scoreless. So, I mean, it's the season for the Swoodley Poopers. You guys have watched, those of you who've watched the entire season, you're, you're now about 40 minutes into your viewing session, and you've had no goals from either team. That's, a, that's, that's not good television or whatever this is. What is this? What are we doing? Why are you watching this? Um, anyway, it's not, it's not good, and I apologize. And rest assured that I'm trying to find a way to, to score more or at least to give up some goals, you know, so there can be some excitement. But I just, we love the nil-nil draws. That's why we have our unofficial Swoodley Pooper song, Nil-Nil Draw. Um, but we are not going to make it to win the league unless we figure out how to do some scoring. So, we're going to figure it out. Oh, Schmoog. That was almost dangerous there. Probably should have made that comment about how I don't mind who scores as long as someone scores. I don't want Colchester to score and send us out of the league. Oh, they got a free kick. Wouldn't that suck to go out of the, the Carling Cup in, like, round one against Colchester? Ooh, Ricardo bunsen Berna with that massive punch. Beautiful stuff from bunsen Berna. Oh, boy. We got one defender, but one defender is all we need. Oh, schmoog. I feel like I should be starting Fitz Hall. I mean, I know that statistically I shouldn't. They say he's a 67, but I feel like the team suffers without him. That was not a foul, and I'm mad, and I'm making some substitutions. In fact, I'm going to do the dreaded triple substitution. Um, I'm going to take out French the Lana, and I'm going to bring in Petinari, still no name. Uh, I'm going to take out uh, Caceres, and I'm going to bring on one size Fitz Hall, and I'm going to uh, take out somebody in central midfield and bring on Beef Stock. I thought I had um, I thought I had uh, Leroy Williamson ready for substitutions, but apparently I don't. That's disappointing. We need Leroy Williamson. This is all right. I'll have Leroy Williamson ready for the next game. Good stuff there from Fitz Hall. Damn, nice, nice. That's like a first-degree burner from Ricardo Bunsen Burner, but it's still something. Um, coming out of the back, look at Pedinari. Look at him. He's on a run. Look at him. Look at him. He can't stop the guy. Oh my gosh, this guy. What a what a player. Oh, and he makes a great turn. Passes back just like you're supposed to. And then to ball John Green. 
Ball drawn green with a shot. Oh, it's saved. But at least I got a ball on goal for once. My goodness. Oh, it's disappointing, though. Really wanted to score there. Against Colchester, I mean, you really... You really want to score in that situation. I hate the skill level. I miss it when it was semi-pro and I could just, like, score every time I wanted to. Um, but I went down from world-class to professional for a while, and I found that they're pretty much the same. I don't know if that's been your guys' experience, but it doesn't really matter to me. Anyway, to go back to Twice as Weiss, who hopefully will still score in this game. Oh, wow. Almost a goal from Colchester. You got to say, in the 86th minute, um, neither team looks likely to score, but if one is going to score... It seems more likely that it will be Colchester, which just, we have not, in short, we have not been on the form that I would like to see from the Swoodley Poopers. Um, and that's disappointing, and it makes me sad because I don't want to be, I don't want to be putting out an inferior product, but more importantly, I'm concerned about our ability to, con to be a going concern. You know, I mean, how are we going to, how are we even going to manage to stay a club if we can't score goals? Come on, Ball John Green. There, it's threaded through the S. Go, go. Goal from other John Green ball, John Green to other John Green, John Green's John Green's ball, another John Green's. They love each other and they love our team. John Green's John Green's ball, another John Green's. They're the best forwards that Swindon Town has ever seen. Yes, great goal. Near posted him from other John Green. Beautiful stuff in the 90th minute. Our favorite minute to score. Ball John Green to his husband and life partner, other John Green. Goal. Goal, Golazo. Beautiful. I'm sorry, Colchester, but you don't get to play in the Carlin Cup anymore because you came up against the Swindon Town Swoodley Poopers and we don't mess around. We're a Premier League side, you know? That's just, that's who we are. So, great job. Great stuff from the boys. Really, really proud right now. Just a great job. Wow. And our opponents will smell their pits in shame. Thanks for watching. I delivered the victory I promised. Best wishes.